Welcome to the laboratory. This video is a demonstration of how to prepare a fungal sample for microscopic examination. When working with fungi, there is another key piece of equipment which you need to become familiar with, and that is the dissecting microscope. This is what a dissecting microscope looks like. It basically magnifies the sample you want to look at further than the naked eye can. So it has a light source and you place your plate with your fungus onto the clear piece of glass and then you can make observations looking through the eyepieces of your fungus. So it's really important when working with fungi that you identify which parts of the sample you want to prepare for microscopic examination. There are some other key tools which you need to use when preparing a fungal sample and that includes needles. So these need to be sterilised and you can sterilise them in a similar way to your loop as you would when you're streaking bacteria, dipping them in alcohol and then flaming them in the flame to burn off the excess alcohol. So we're going to now prepare a simple slide of fungus for microscopic examination. So we need to make sure that we're working in aseptic conditions because we want to sterilise our needles. So wipe down the bench and light our Bunsen. So to prepare a slide, you obviously need some microscope slides, which look like this your sample of fungi, and in this example, we are using rhizopus, and some solution to help see your sample on the slide. So this is lactoglycerol. This contains lactic acid, so you must be careful when using it. It can um, burn your skin, so be very careful. And it also differentiates color on the sample that you're preparing. So to prepare a simple slide, you need to add a drop of lactoglycerol to the slide. So use the dropper to collect some and then drop it to the centre of your slide. Make sure you replace the lid very tightly so that when other people use the bottle it doesn't fall onto the bench and spill. We then need to sterilise the needle. So you should have your alcohol bath. So grab a needle, dip it into the alcohol, and then quickly flame it in the blue flame to burn off the alcohol. So that is nice and sterile. You then need some of your fungal sample. So you might be able to see in this sample, it seems to contain spores. So you can see little black dots throughout it and it's quite fluffy in appearance. So when working with a sample like this, you need to make sure that you keep the lid on as much as possible because the spores can spread through the air. So you want to quickly collect some of your sample and then place the lid back on. So quickly remove the lid, move the needle through the sample to collect some on the needle, replace the lid and then place it into the lactoglycerol on the slide. So this is where it helps to use a second needle to help you tease the sample apart. So sterilise a second needle. and then use it to detach your fungi from the first needle. And then once it's in the, the lactoglycerol, you can tease it apart. So basically spread it out so that there are no big clumps in your sample.
this can take a little bit of time so just be patient and persevere so once you're happy that your sample has been teased apart appropriately you need to re-sterilize your needles so that they can be safely placed back onto the bench for later use and now we need to place a cover slip over our sample so you should have a container of cover slips be very careful when removing the lid because you don't want them to fly all over the bench just grab the cover slip with the corners or the edges in between your fingers and then touch one edge to the bottom of the or to the glycerol solution until it takes up and then quickly drop your cover slip on top so you should have a sample which looks similar to this and you want to make sure that you don't have any air bubbles in your sample because that can obstruct your view when looking at it under the microscope so that's how you would prepare a simple slide for microscopic examination of fungi that is now ready to be viewed under the microscope.